An XML sitemap helps search engines index the pages on your site, while an HTML sitemap is a separate page on your site like this, or some people create it in the footer like this, and it lists all the main page links so people can easily find whatever they need. I'll show you the easiest free method to add these type of HTML sitemaps to your website using the free version of a plugin called All-in-One SEO. Also, there's a giveaway at the end, so don't miss that. Now, there's a lot of debate in the SEO world whether it's necessary to add an HTML sitemap or not. Honestly, there's hardly any direct impact on SEO from this. But the theory is that it boosts user experience, which then boosts engagement. But do visitors really use a sitemap? The answer is yes, if you have many products or blogs that visitors would need to browse through to find what they want. So most e-commerce stores, big agencies, journalism sites, and sites like that either have a sitemap in the footer or a separate sitemap page. And I would advise you to create one as well. Okay, now let's start the tutorial and come to our WordPress dashboard. Now go to plugins, then add new, and here search for the free plugin, all in one SEO. Now install and activate it. Now before I show you how to add the sitemap, open a new tab and open Google PageSpeed. Add your site URL and if your score is less than 90, then you're already losing visitors because of a slow website. So first, we need to fix this. The good news is that with one click, we can get a great score like this using the new free plugin called Airlift. Don't worry, we've built successful plugins before and this free speed plugin is on a whole new level. You just paste your website URL Click a button and it automatically does all the site optimizations and bam, look at that high score. So to try it, go to the description, click on this link and it'll open this website. Click here, create a free account, then add your site URL, click continue, then click here to download the plugin. We are going to keep this tab open and go back to our WordPress dashboard, then go to plugins, add new, then click upload plugin, then choose file. Select the airlift folder, then click install and activate. Now come back to the previous tab, click test plugin, then initiate sync, and then airlift will launch, do all the optimizations and automatically increase your site speed. So now that we aren't losing visitors, let's then continue with the tutorial. Now in your dashboard's left navigation bar, under all-in-one SEO, you'll see a lot of options. Just go to sitemaps and click it. Now here you will see the different types of sitemaps you can add to your site. If you want an XML sitemap, then you can enable this option here. And the next step would be to submit it to Google, for which I'll link a video above. Now click on the HTML sitemap here, then come down and enable it. Now here you can decide how you want to add it to your site. So first I'll show you how to add your sitemap to the footer of your site like these examples. And after that I'll show you how to make a dedicated sitemap page like this, and then add it as a link in your footer like this. Now if you don't have too many pages, a footer sitemap might actually be more user friendly. So I'll show you how to do that. Come back to your WordPress dashboard. Now go to appearance, then widgets, and in the footer section, click here, and then search for all-in-one SEO and find the sitemap widget. Click and add it to the area you want, and you will see the widget settings. And I'll quickly set it up the way most people add a sitemap to their footer. And now that this is done, then save and publish. Now if you go back to your site, refresh it, then scroll down, then you can see the sitemap has been added to the footer. But if you want to make a dedicated sitemap page like this, which is then linked in your footer like this, then I'll show you how to do that now. So come back to your WordPress dashboard. I need you to go and first create a page. So I'll scroll up, go to pages, add new, right click and open in a new tab. And in this new page, add a headline like sitemap and publish this. Now the page address will be visible here, so we're going to copy that. Then go back to the previous tab, where all-in-one SEO was open, then come here and select the dedicated page, and paste the page address that we had copied before. Now I'll scroll down, and you can select what all to show in this sitemap. So under all post types, I can select posts or pages, and under taxonomies, I can select categories or tags. Then you can select your sort order like this and sort direction like this. Then you can choose to hide or show publication dates. And if you want to see a compact sitemap or a normal one, then you can come down and save changes. 
Now come up here and click open sitemap. Now you can see that this page has your sitemap of all the pages and posts. If you scroll down, some themes already have a sitemap option here, but it may not link to this page that we have just created. So first I'll show you how to change this link. And after that, I'll show you how to add a sitemap option if it's not there in your theme. So scroll up, click on customize. Then scroll down till we're at this footer. Now I can see that this text box is a widget too. So I'll go and select that. Now you can see the items in this box are listed here. So you can see this is the title of this box. And all this code represents the different titles and then the pages that they are linked to. So I'm going to scroll to the bottom here. Now I'll click here and then we need to replace this code with the address of your sitemap page. Back to the previous tab. Now click here and copy the address. Then come back, come to this selected area and select paste to replace this text. Then go up and click publish. Now this link will go to your new sitemap page. But what if there was no sitemap option in your theme? Then here's how you can add it. So click here and click here. So I'm going to scroll to the bottom here. Now if I click here to add another item, I'll click here and come to this area. Then click on this. You can go up and click publish. Now let's close these options. I'll go up and refresh this page, scroll down. And in the footer, I can see the sitemap link. And if I click, it goes to the sitemap. Welcome to the giveaway section. This is a small gift since you watched till the end. So check the link in description for a flat 20% discount on the best WordPress security plugin, which is Malcare. In just $6, you'll get unlimited malware removals and seven layers of security to keep your site protected. So link in description, do check it out.